everybody. Today I'm going to review the DeWalt DW2298 half inch square drive to quarter inch hex quick change impact adapter. Now this is something that will allow you to turn your half inch compact impact wrench into an impact driver in just a matter of seconds. And for somebody that really focuses on automotive repair and doesn't have the need for an impact driver most of the time, this would be a good option and it really would turn your impact wrench into a second tool and prevent you from spending hundreds of dollars. Now what you want to keep in mind if you are somebody that builds houses or decks or you even do a lot of DIY projects, this is not going to be a long term solution, but it would allow you to do a lot of things with your impact wrench that you normally can't. So what I want to do in this video is show you exactly how this operates, we'll see how it compares to a standard impact driver, and then we're going to see how it actually performs. Here's a closer look at the adapter, and you can see that one side does have a half inch square drive. The other side is going to be the quarter inch hex, and that square drive is going to plug directly on the anvil on a half inch impact wrench. Now in this case this is a friction ring or hog ring anvil. We'll line it up, press it into place, and it's going to lock right on. Now I've read online about certain adapters having a problem with that style of anvil and they only really work with the pin detent version. However, this adapter is going to work with both. So it's going to work with the friction ring or the pin detent. And if you have the pin detent version, just line the pin up with the hole in the side of the adapter. That's going to lock everything into place and then this can't accidentally go flying off on you. One thing you do want to take into account if you're considering using your impact wrench instead of buying an impact driver is going to be the overall length. You can see the overall size of an impact wrench, at least a compact version, compared to an impact driver is very similar. When we add on the adapter, it makes it much longer. And it's going to put it more in range with a standard 18 volt drill as far as length. Another thing you do want to keep in mind is how much slop or movement your bit's going to have. Now using the adapter you're going to have the most movement. However, when you start to install or remove a screw and everything's locked together, it's really not a problem. But if you just pull it on the trigger on these, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Now starting out with the drill, we can grab onto its bit, move it back and forth, and it's not going to go anywhere because the jaws have clamped down on it tight. When we pull it on the trigger, it's going to spin nice and true. Now when we look at the impact driver or the adapter, you will see some movement because the bit is not designed to clamp in there like it is with the drill. In this case, we'll go ahead and pull it on the trigger. And you can notice just a little bit of a wobble. Now you will notice more using the impact wrench with the adapter because it has that additional point of contact. Grabbing onto the bit, we can move it back and forth much more. And then when we pull it on the trigger, you can see exactly how much movement it has when it's not attached to a fastener. However, when it comes to actually using the bit, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. I do have three coated three inch deck screws and a four by four pressure treated post. I'll go ahead and screw each of these in using the drill, the impact driver, and then the impact wrench with the adapter so you can see the difference between them. Installing a bit is going to be a one hand operation. You can go ahead and line it up, press it into place, and it's going to click right in. Now when you go to remove it, it really does require two hands because you need one hand to pull the collar back, the second hand to pull the bit out. But when you want to reinstall it, once again, you only need one hand. If you just pull the collar back, there's no spring mechanism and the bit is not going to pop out on you. But when we compare that to a standard impact driver, it's going to be a one hand operation to install a bit and also to remove it. Using it really is as easy as slipping it on the end of the impact wrench. It's going to lock into place. Then you're going to take your bit, slide that in the end of the adapter. Now that everything's locked together, you're going to be ready to go.
and literally as soon as you're done doing that you can remove it install a socket on the impact wrench and then remove some lug nuts One of the main complaints that I've read online about impact adapters like this is the fact that people say they don't last a long time. And some people are saying that they'll only last two or three screws before they're going to break on you. Now what you want to keep in mind, this is only rated up to 2,000 inch pounds. And when you divide that by 12, we come up with a foot pound rating of just under 167 foot pounds. Now if you use something like this on a corded impact wrench that has 300 foot-pounds for example, then that would be 3,600 inch-pounds and it's just way too much power. So in that case one or two screws would be accurate because you would blow this apart. Now what I'm going to do with the M18 fuel is actually bump the power mode down to one or two and in this case I'll be using it on speed mode two which is still under that torque rating. We have three inch coated deck screws and a brand new pressure treated 4x4 post I'm going to go ahead, put 100 screws into that post, and then we're going to take a look at the adapter at the end to see how it held up. So there's 100 3 inch coated deck screws going into a pressure treated 4x4 post. When we take a closer look at the adapter, I can pull the ring back, the bit's going to pull right out. We can pull it off the front of the impact wrench and it's still going to be in perfect condition. So now you've seen DeWalt's DW2298 for yourself. Now while this is not a full replacement for an impact driver, if you only have an impact wrench or you have to make the choice between having an impact wrench for working on your vehicle or an impact driver and then getting the quarter inch hex up to half inch adapter, this would probably be a better choice especially if you're not going to do a lot of home repairs. Now if you are a contractor or somebody building decks for a living, this is not going to be the way to go. And also if your impact wrench just has too much power, you will end up breaking this very quickly. However, if you follow their guidelines and keep it under 2,000 inch-pounds, or roughly 167 foot-pounds, then you can do a lot of work and it should last you for a very long time. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.